गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल सो दिस इज न्यू पर्सपेक्टिव एक्सेल 2019 मॉड्यूल 3 एंड ऑफ मॉड्यूल प्रोजेक्ट 1 बेरर बर्नार्ड कंसल्टिंग परफॉर्म कैलकुलेशंस विद फार्मूलास एंड फंक्शंस ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू डाउनलोड दिस एक्सेल स्टार्ट फाइल व्हिच आई हैव ऑलरेडी डाउनलोडेड हियर नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू आवर प्रोजेक्ट स्टेप सो द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज चैनले लार्सन इज अ प्रोफेशनल असिस्टेंट विद बेरर बर्नार्ड कंसल्टिंग चैनले इज रिस्पांसिबल फॉर कलेक्टिंग consultant asks for some of barrel uh, bernard's projects and processing the payments she wants to automate some task and calculate uh, summary information automatically on the worksheet that consultants use to track their hours switch to the time sheet worksheet so this one is our time sheet worksheet uh, in cell c5 insert the now function to record the current date insert the now function so in cell c2 C5, sorry. In cell C5, we will use now function. Now bracket open, bracket close. To insert the record the current date. Okay. Now each worksheet covers a period of 20 workdays. In cell C4, create a formula using the workday function to calculate the date. 90 days from the start date. Cell C3. Okay. So in cell C4. create a formula using workday function to calculate the date 19 days from the start date okay so first of all we will take cell c3 plus sorry not plus start date and the days are 19 and then bracket close so here it is Now use auto fill to complete the labels in the table of hours. Use the values in the range A9 to A10. A9 to A10. Sorry. A9 to A10 to extend the week numbering to the range A to 11 to A12. Use the value in cell B8 to auto fill the remaining work weekday abbreviations in the range. C A to F A. Okay, use auto fill to complete the labels in the table of hours. Use the values in the range A nine to A ten to extend the week numbering to the range A eleven to A twelve. Okay, so here drag this fill button to the range A twelve, and here it is. Cell B A to auto fill the remaining weekday abbreviation in the range C A to F A. Okay, so here drag this fill button to the right side. to fill the abbreviations for weekdays now the fourth instruction is add formulas to complete the table of hours used in cell b17 b17 in cell b17 mm -mm -mm. create a nested formula with if and some function that check if the total number of hours worked in week 1 cell b9 to f9 is equal to 0 if it is then the cell should display nothing indicated with two quot mark otherwise the cell should display the total number of hours worked in week 1 copy the formula from cell b17 to fill the range b18 to b20 okay So in cell B seventeen, create a nested formula is equal if then bracket sum then bracket cells B nine to F nine sorry B nine to F nine And is equal to zero. Range equal to zero. One second is equal. If the cell should display nothing, if it is, then the cell should. Mm, Sorry, leave it. 
i will explain you this step in the next video okay so in cell h2 create a formula using the workday function in cell h2 h2 create a formula using the workday function is equal workday bracket to calculate the date uh, five days after the period ended c4 cell c4 start date and five days then bracket close so it is 3 5 2021 now create lookup functions to complete the summary section in cell i6 create a formula using the vlookup function to display the number of hours worked in the selected week look up the week number in cell i5 and in the range a17 to g20 and return the value in the second column use absolute references for cell i5 and the range a17 to g20 okay so basically this is not a whole tutorial video this is just a preview there are total 14 instructions from which I have already explained you five instructions. So now for the rest of the assignment, you need to contact me on my WhatsApp or email, whichever you want. My all contact details are provided in the description box to contact me and get any type of assignment help from there. In case any doubt, you can ask me through comment box. So thank you. Thank you for watching my video.